Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Peter Kennedy, Kennedy's Garage, Port Law. We have a 2013 Renault Megane, a little two-door coupe. What am I getting? I would prefer if the light didn't come out of my phone, but it did come out of my phone. I'm gonna give me that glare, but uh, we have a P0488 EGR throttle. I don't think there's anything to do with that glare. For now, anyway, we'll work around it. <clears throat> what am I looking at? What I had, or what we have here is, she won't, they won't do an emissions test on our NCT over here, which is the equivalent to year MOT in England, or I don't know what they'd call it in the likes of the States or any of that crack, but it's a, a vehicle road worthiness test, okay? And because of that check injection system message and the spanner coming on here, they won't do the emissions related, related test until that is resolved. As I said, P04488 is EGR throttle control range or performance. And I'll show you the fault code there in a minute. But what I did notice is when I start the car, intermittently this thing is coming on and when a key was cycled off, or the button cycled off, and the button cycled back on, I had no faults. I start the car, when I start the car, no check engine light on, no engine management faults in our scan tool, but, um, yeah, after running for a second or two, lo and behold, it comes back on. Okay, I turned off the camera to get rid of the glare. Um, what I thought was interesting was when I started the car or cycled the key again, I had no faults or no messages on the dash. But lo and behold, then after a couple of seconds, I went in to look at live data and look at fault codes, and lo and behold, the message came back on the dash. And when the message came back on the dash, here we are. And what happened is, and what I noticed happening is, is our EGR valve opening reference now is minus four. But what it was doing, even when I even when I rev or change the actual accelerator position, we're staying stagnant at minus four opening valve, EGR valve opening reference, but before the fault or before the, the, it triggered the light here, it actually was looking or giving me a reference value. So what I'm saying is that now when it sees the problem, EGR valve wasn't open, uh, open. EGR position here was staying at zero, and a reference or a potential outer voltage was staying at 3.7 so i'm saying 3.7 is egr closed and a reference value was changing until it saw the actual thing not moving when it saw it not moving then all of a sudden boom she went back to minus four stayed there what i might show you i'm going to show you is maybe fault codes that were in there now i didn't have this in oe oh look i still don't have it in oe I had the P0488 EGR throttle in OBD, but yes, you know, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do that. Ah, look, it's still giving me no faults in there, even though I have check injection system. I don't have check engine light on, but I do have the, will I cycle off the key? I was going to go into OBD maybe to show you the actual fault. And just see, is the message gone out after I cycle the key on and off? No, I have my spanner light on now again, and check injection is still in there. Right, we're gonna keep on rolling for a second and I'm gonna try and show you the fault code and why am I showing you the fault code? Because I think I'm actually gonna go and I'm going to delete our razor fault OBD. So I was in OBD, I had one fault in there. Diagnosis. Still a light reflection there, I think, from the sun shining in. Turn down that radio a little bit. Oh, no. DTCs. I would like if that glare wasn't there. But. Okay, current and pending. P0488 EGR throttle control A range slash performance. EGR throttle control A range of performance. There is no throttle on the exhaust or any of that fancy stuff on this thing. It's kind of an older style, I suppose, technology. So I'm doing my generic stall of the car. I'm going to erase that fault. Yep. And just at this point, what I'm trying to show you is that when I started it and I didn't have faults or the message there, what I actually had was a reference voltage or reference position from our EGR. Again, back into Ram again. Diagnosis. Apologies about that clear there, lads. Okay, control unit, injection. Codes. We didn't have them in there, so it was probably pointless me even looking in here. Live data, uh, all signals. 
search P R E S S U R E. Actually, no, I was looking for EGR, wasn't I? EGR. I like looking for pressure when I'm actually on stuff. So there's the EGR potentiometer reference voltage, sorry, in the middle of that glare. Uh, EGR opening position reference, maybe, and I'm hoping that'll change the minute I start it. And then EGR position will we'll nearly go with that. Uh, show selected and I'm hoping that once I press a key Nah, that was a that was a pointless. Yeah, there we go. Are we? Jeez, that's fast, isn't it? So our reference position is it should be 55% open now, but we are actually on zero Okay, there's a message on the dash. No message on the dash Once we cleared our raised faults And this car is looking for or the ECU is looking for that EGR valve to be opening and closing and are moving but you can see here our actual EGR position is dead set zero our voltage is 3.7 I would suggest if that opened this would count down the way opposite to where we want to see it but right now because it's not changing our the position EGR position is not changing I'm suggesting that our reference will in a second or two I'll actually that's me just pressing the throttle. I'll show you I'll show you in a minute or two when this time. I'm going to leave it idle for a while and this thing will kick its heels and go back to minus four in a second, which is an interesting one. But it is basically just an only the EGR valve that's gone on this. So I'm going to just, I thought that was interesting the way when it, it gives us a reference and then when it sees the EGR valve not, it goes along and it just brings the reference back to default number, which is minus four. Okay guys, a few moments later, um, what have we got? Our EGR valve reference just went to minus four. So I can rev it all I want now. Engine ECU figured out that it wasn't moving and it decided, uh, trigger a fault. We're not going to give you a reference because it's not going to try and command it open. Once it sees a fault in here, actually, we have our check injection message back again. I'll show you where the EGR valve is on this thing. And again, this is maybe enough. Don't know if I'm going to get the repair of this item there is a couple of videos on youtube about these things 1.5 dci is our engine egr valve is sitting just there so in behind in behind that air intake pipe i think it could be relatively awkward to change in there lots of this plastic and stuff have to come off i think to get a bit of room but it's only an egr valve stuck on this thing but just interesting on this one that the reference was giving us a reference it was operating away and then all of a sudden she just flatlined that minus four percent maybe this is enough maybe i get to do another job if i do i'll fit the egr valve i might give you a run through of fitting it and show you the aftermath of where we're at but for this one look only for a small fast one please like subscribe don't get caught with the minus four um reference position it's only when the falls or the ecu sees the falls that that's what it looks for because it's not commanding the egr open okay that's please like subscribe and talk to you all next cartoon peter kennedy sign now